What's up, Barnhill family, and welcome back to your home for all things combat sports. Yo, yo. So, Nick, Usman Nurmagomedov last night made it a clean 60-0 and for the Nurmagomedov family in combat sports, in mixed martial arts. And his performance was incredible, but it kind of speaks to just how dominant this family and this camp really is. Yeah, I really love the fact that the Nurmagomedov story is really just beginning. Yeah. It's, it felt like when Khabib retired that it was sort of over, but it was really just a chapter at the very beginning of the story because now you've got a whole new slew of fighters that are coming up under Khabib's wing. They all look like really impressive, either future champions, now current champions, or people that can follow in Khabib's footsteps perfectly. And I feel like Usman putting a clinic on uh, Patrice Pitbull really made a statement last night. I mean, like you said, these guys are 60 and 0 now. I feel like their story is just about to start being written. Yeah, so you have Umar in the UFC, who's a bantamweight coming up. He's 15 and 0. Usman last night became 16 and 0 and then you have Habib who's 29 and 0 but back to Usman and the performance against Pitbull because the Pitbull brothers they're another fighting family much like the Nurmagomedovs and Patricky is is less known than Patricio his brother but still a great champion in his own right and this was not the Nurmagomedov take him down beat him up sort of situation like we've come to know from Khabib I tell you what Usman is an incredible striker he has some of the best kicks that I've seen in quite some time in MMA he throws a lot of crisp head kicks he throws a lot of good kicks to the body he uses his range extremely well and then he comes in with his punches in a super intelligent way and then of course you do see the beautiful takedowns the ground control which ultimately led to a 50 44 essentially clean sweep decision win yeah everybody knows the pitbull brothers as being legit on the ground great champions uh bellator did put up a stat when they were fighting that between the two brothers the patrici pitbull brothers they've had 17 world titles of some sort wow most of most of them all in bellator and then the Nurmagomedov three the three of them not brothers but cousins have had four and all of those came from Khabib until last Friday night and now they've added a fifth one to that but it's kind of crazy to see just how many titles the, the Pitbull brothers have won but you kind of see the next wave in the next generation of MMA coming everybody knows that Dagestan's one of the strongest presences in the entire sport of MMA and these guys just seem like they're on a different level. And everybody looked at Khabib as, oh, he's a great wrestler. doesn't really have good hands, but he knows how to defend himself. He knows how to get you up against the cage, take you down, and then uh, implement his game plan. But after we saw, you know, Zabit come out, and then we saw Islam Makhachev start throwing some pretty good strikes. We're like, wait a second. These guys are better than just ground fighters. They're, yeah. they're actually pretty technical on the feet as well. And uh, Usman might be one of those dudes that is just as lethal on the feet as he is on the ground. And it's really scary because Usman is only 24 years old. And to see him put on a complete mixed martial arts performance like he did Friday night against a really tough champion is something super impressive. Javier Mendez deserves a lot of credit. Father Abdulmanap deserves a lot of credit. But this is what you're seeing here is the evolution of mixed martial arts. You're seeing somebody that can grapple similar to how Khabib grapples. And then you're seeing somebody who can kick similar to how Wonderboy Thompson kicks. And then you see Chris boxing. You're seeing a true, complete, total mixed martial artist at the age of 24 years old. So where Usman goes from here, who knows? But the sky seems to be the limit. I have to agree with you on that. And all the way down from the punches and the kicks and the X's and O's, of course, they're as complete a martial artist as you're going to find. But they also embody that martial arts, you know, spirit. And I feel like they're leaving a great footprint on the sport of MMA, not just as the strikers and the grapplers and the fighters that they are, but also the men that they are. No doubt. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We're your hub for all things combat sports. If that's your jam, we appreciate a subscribe and a like on the video and drop us a comment down below. We'll see you next time. Peace.